squad looks okay. Do you know what I mean? It's um, everyone's fit, ready to go for tomorrow. So that's where we're at. Expecting a busy day today. Um, hopefully, maybe get two or three in if we can. Uh, so it's going to be a long day. Is, uh, what sort of areas you're looking to fill? Just get players in, mate. <laughs> Is that just the situation you're at at the moment? You just need to get those. No, nah, I need off. certain players, but. Obviously, we want a result. We want to get a win tomorrow. That's the most important thing. But at this present time, it'd be nice to get one or two in. We've had we got two in two already this month, and if we get two more in, then it'll make the squad stronger. Stephen O'Donnell's any more update on this situation? No update on Stephen. No. Has there been a bit on? Um, there was an inquiry yesterday, yeah. and um, spoke to Stephen, and he wants to start the club. And then that's it, really. Is it, so that's sort of as far as I know, yeah. as long as they come back again today or another club makes an inquiry, then we'll deal with that. But at the present time, he wants to stay here. So well, Obviously, Stephen, has got the last year. So you'd be a player you'd be loath to, to like leave at this stage of the season? Of course. you know He's a good good fullback, one of the best in the country. So we're glad that he wants to stay. In terms of when you, you pick the boys up, I mean, how is... The situation in terms of results, I mean, is it, is it getting harder as the weeks go by to keep an eye up? No, no, no. We come in every day. We work hard. You know, um, obviously we want to we want to win a game, and we're just doing what we do. You know, we keep coming in, we keep training, and keep trying to to win games. That's that's the main aim. You've got big figures in that dressing room. How, how important are they? Like Sir Chris Box and you know, other guys for Alex Bruce's in terms of. Keeping guys now a level foot and they do that every week, you know what I mean? Um, standard training's high. You know, we've been unfortunate in games, you know, last minute goals and that, but that's stuff we gotta put right and we only can do that by working hard on the training pitch and maybe having a little bit of luck in the game. Obviously when you came into the job, the team was obviously top six, you know, sliding down the table a wee bit. Is that getting a concern for you that the relegation fight might be something that you have to start working? It's about? a concern because obviously if you don't win games, you know you're going down the other way. But I don't feel we're too far off the mark. You know, um, obviously it'd be nice to win one or two games. But um, the most important thing is we keep training, we keep working hard, and, and tomorrow try and get a result. Is it important not for the boys to start panicking and worrying and? Start looking at the table, it's, human, it's human nature when you don't win games and you ain't done something for a long while. You know, that morale drops or confidence drops. But at the moment, everything's okay, you know, they're, they're working hard. And they're, um, we're just a little bit away from it, you know. Hopefully it'll turn tomorrow. Could that injection of fresh blood, could that be something that perhaps gives you a spark? Is that well, I hope so. I hope so. Hope one or two, if one or two does come in. And if they don't come in, then we just deal with what we got. And the squad's good enough anyway to, to win games. Yeah. Would you make a Ross County this season? Good side, watched them a lot this year. Watched them at Highbrox on Wednesday and they were very good, they were decent. Watched them against Celtic, you know, they're hard to beat, they do create. Um, they created a few chances against the two biggest sides in the country, so we know it's going to be a tough game, but we're ready. Well, I was at Highbrox the other night and Stuart Kettle was saying after the game that Nobody expected them to get anything no. from the, the two results. This was perhaps the game that they were they were targeting, they were looking at. Do you expect them to sort of... 100 percent that's just normal, you know what I mean? They've had three tough away games, hopefully, tomorrow. And um, if I was them, I'd be doing the same thing. You know, going to Celtic and Rangers and hopefully putting on a good performance and trying to get something and to target the third game, which is us, you know. Um, especially because we're on a bad run. Um, but it's for us to make sure they lose three in a row. Do you boys have to be up for the ready for the, the fight aspect? They're ready for it. Yeah. They're ready for it. You know, they they know what's at stake, and um, like every week they want to win games. You know, and they're ready for tomorrow.